Skybot Scheduler has added a built-in function for scheduling tasks for Informatica Cloud. Let's take a look at how easy it is. First, you'll need to define your Informatica Cloud instance to Skybot. Multiple server definitions can be created based on user profiles. In the server definition display, enter the base URL, the user ID, and the password, and then any changes to the default polling values that you would like. Once your server is set up, you can start creating SkyBot jobs and scheduling your cloud tasks. I've got an example job I'll use for this demo. Create the SkyBot job as usual and enter any schedule information when you want this job to run. Enter any exceptions and the agent environment, just like any other SkyBot job. On the command line, click on the Add dropdown and you'll see an option for Informatica Cloud Task. Once you click that, you'll be prompted for the server definition and then also the task type. For the task name and task ID, you can copy from your Informatica Cloud instance. I've got mine open and I've got the apps and it's a data replication app that I'm doing and I open up the one that I want to schedule, highlight it and copy it and then I can paste it into my SkyBot job. I'll also need to copy and paste the task ID, which is part of the URL when you open up the Informatica Cloud task. So I copy that, paste it into my job, and now I'm ready to run my Informatica Cloud task in a SkyBot job. I'm going to run this job so that you can see the logging that SkyBot does for each job. So I'll just select a run job now. And this job should run in just a second. I can right click on it to bring up the history. As you can see, I've been doing some testing with this job and I've run it a few times in the last couple days. So now we can go in and download the job log. And what I want to show you here is how SkyBot monitors the running of that of that cloud task. So this is our API and here we've got the server information as you entered it into that server definition. And then also the Informatica cloud task information. This is the individual task that we're running and its ID. And then we log every step as SkyBot logs into the cloud server, starts the job, and then sets up a monitor waiting for that job to complete because we want to make sure that we have the correct exit code when this job completes. So we want to make sure that it's a successful job before we run, go on to the next step. So we'll log the completion status and then each step within that log for that cloud process. So that's it. As you can see, it's easy to add Informatica cloud jobs to your job flows using SkyBot Scheduler's built-in function.